This season, one of the greatest issues is what does power mean in personal terms and in terms of the ambition of our major characters. Power is always dangerous. It attracts the worst and corrupts the best. Ragnar certainly didn't want to be king. He didn't want to be Earl, but through circumstances, he had to become king. He's not obsessed with the power stuff, you know? He doesn't think you need a title to be a leader. My desires and ambitions for our people have never changed. And now that I am king, I must try to bring them about. Rollo's back in his brother's good graces, but he's still this burning ambitions inside him. He doesn't know how to achieve it. He's got so much anger and apathy and ugliness inside of himself. I am useless, fruitless, hollowed out by failed ambitions. Nothing good can ever come of my life now. The name of a Viking in society in, in those times meant everything, and in Rollo's no different. But does he know if there's another way to achieve his ambitions without falling foul of Ragnar again? At the beginning of season three, Lagertha is an earl in her own right. She's in a position of power, but she's not motivated by her own ego. She's motivated by the best thing for her people. And that's why she goes to farm in Wessex, and that's why she tries to create a new settlement there. Your properties, your lands, your earldom, all have been usurped. Say again? You have been removed from power. Forgive me, I'm only the messenger. Who has done this? Kalf. Kalf's so ambitious and he wants to be recognized by the gods. And I think for him to do that is, is to become a name like King Ragnar is, where everyone is aware of him and knows him. Come the spring, I'll be invading a country called Frankia. And I would like to invite you. To be asked to go to Paris is everything that he wants. It, it goes being into that ambition. It's going to be the greatest war that's ever happened, the greatest siege. And I think to be recognized and to be known and, and to be a part of that, was, it makes his name a bigger force to be reckoned with. The Northmen are currently fighting beside us to help us gain the throne of Mercia, that huge kingdom for our puppet, Princess Quenthrith. Now, who among you would choose not to turf a few farmers off our land rather than gain, through this alliance, a greater part of England itself? Egbert's endgame is to become Brett Walder, the king of all England. He'll use force, he'll use politics, he'll use manipulation, he'll buy people. He'll do just about anything. We understand each other. That is why we are allies and will remain so. King Egbert's motives in striking up an alliance with the Northmen, I think, is in the vein of keep your friends close, but keep your enemies even closer. So by bringing them in, he makes them vulnerable, and it gives him time to find the right moment to do something terrible.